Videos are an engaging way to provide information and spark interaction in your Mighty Network. It's easy to share a video recording in a way that members can watch it right inside your network without leaving the platform. The biggest decision you have is when do you want to upload the video into the Mighty Network, when do you want to actually store it there inside your Mighty Network, and when is it better to store the video recording inside another tool like YouTube or Vimeo and embed it into your Mighty Network. This video will guide you through making those decisions. I'm Marcia Chadley, here to help you be successful with your Mighty Network. Video recordings can be shared in many different places in a Mighty Network. In a quick post, an article, a lesson or an overview in a table of contents, the landing page for the network, and other places. Sometimes the best way to share a video in one of those places is to upload it to your Mighty Network, to store it there. In other situations, I recommend embedding a video that's stored outside the Mighty Network. When embedding is the best choice, the next question I usually hear is, should I store the video on YouTube or in Vimeo? If you're looking for a quick answer to those questions, my general rule of thumb is to consider storing the video in Vimeo and embedding it in your network, but that's not always the best choice. Let's look at four questions that you can use to help you decide if you should embed or upload a particular video. After we look at those four questions, we'll look at the choice of YouTube or Vimeo to store embedded files if that's what you decide to do. The first question to think about is how big is the video file itself? The host of a Mighty Network, anybody who has host privileges, can upload video files that are up to four gigabytes in size. If you are a Mighty Network network moderator or the host or moderator of a space, then you can only upload video files that are 25 megabytes in size. So if the video file itself is too large to upload, then you will need to store the video outside of the Mighty Network and embed it. The second question is, do you want the recording to be shared outside your Mighty Network using Vimeo or your YouTube channel? If you do, I recommend embedding the video from that place into your network so that you avoid duplicating storing your video recording in two tools and also the extra time spent uploading twice. The third question is, do you want to access the video file itself later? If so, you're going to want to store that video file somewhere you can get to outside of the Mighty Networks platform because there isn't currently a way to download a video file that you've uploaded into your Mighty Network. So in that case, I recommend storing your video recording inside YouTube, in a YouTube account, or in your Vimeo account, somewhere where you can download the video file later and you're able to embed the video recording into your Mighty Network. That will save you storage space and upload time. If those three questions didn't already point you to the choice that you need to embed your recording, then you can consider this one last question. Is storage space in your Mighty Network a concern? Your particular storage limits depends on your Mighty Network's plan. There's also a helpful tip here any videos that you upload in a table of contents don't count toward your storage limits. The other thing to note is that you can purchase more storage in your network if you want to. If you've decided that you don't want to use storage in your Mighty Network and you don't want to put this particular recording into a table of contents, then you're going to want to store the recording in an outside tool and embed it into your network. On the other hand, if you've gone through these four questions and nothing has pointed you to needing to embed your file instead of uploading it directly into the Mighty Network, then uploading into your Mighty Network is a good option and you are all ready to go. There's another choice to make if your video is going to be embedded, and that's where to store it. The two most common tools used to embed a video in Mighty Network are YouTube and Vimeo. YouTube accounts are free and Vimeo accounts have paid plans. 
but there are differences in the user experience that can make an investment in Vimeo a better choice in some situations. Let's take a look at the user experience of watching a video that's been embedded from YouTube. You'll notice that ads were not shown as I started this video. When you're watching in, in the Mighty Network, you don't see the ads that you'd usually see on YouTube. You do see the YouTube branding, the title up here, and some of the controls. Unfortunately, the control to turn captions on or off is not available in the browser of a Mighty Network. It is available if someone is watching this video using the Mighty Networks app. Because it's not in the browser, I actually link directly to YouTube here so people can have action, access to the captions. Members will see an end screen when they're done with the video and suggested other videos. I'm fine with this for general videos that I'm going to provide freely to the public anyway. I'm okay with people inside my Mighty Network seeing suggested other videos. Embedded YouTube videos can also be set up to be tracked videos inside a table of contents lesson. Looking at the user experience of watching a video that's been embedded from Vimeo, you can see that there's a little more polished look and feel. It's better for recordings and paid courses in community areas. You can even set up the controls on a Vimeo video so the people don't know that it's being stored in Vimeo. It doesn't say Vimeo anywhere here. And you can get at the captions, turning those on and off in both the browser and in the app. This video has walked you through the reasons that I often, but not always, suggest that my clients store their videos in YouTube or Vimeo and then embed them in their Mighty Network rather than upload them into the network. The choice between storing videos on YouTube or Vimeo depends on the specific video and the situation. If you'd like more help learning how to use the Mighty Networks platform, check out the other videos on this YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe. Look at the description of this video for the link to join my free Mighty Network where I provide more do-it-yourself information and experiences. And reach out if you're interested in learning about how I support clients both privately and with small groups.